It's the network. Um, when it, when it comes to strategizing, what is if you were to like sit down with an artist who, you know, had a basic brand set up and you you know you're just ready on your side to 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 help them out. What is the first thing you would say when you sit down with them? What what would be their step one? What would be their like kind of like workout plan? Like, hey, focus on this right now when it comes to developing that strategy. Content development and creation. Everything starts with content. Like literally, we we have this conversation with clients every day. Like literally, everything we do doesn't work if we don't have <laughs> if we don't have content to work it with. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. And then get into. Our first priority with our clients personally is always to get them to a comfortable content creation point. Like we try to figure out where, yeah. what do you have the capacity to do? What are you comfortable with doing? And then what do the people that like you like to see? Because then if we get you to a point where you're kind, you're confident and you're creating content, then our job becomes easier because now we have more stuff to test out and see what works. Because what you we run into the problem with. Uh, a lot of the times is let's say you come to us and you want to work a very specific piece of content, right? You just, yeah. I don't know, it's just the, the one for you, right? And we run it and it doesn't work. Let's say it doesn't work. Like that's that's nothing new. You know, so that happens in, in music and marketing all the time. But if right. you have nothing else created, now you're stuck. Now you're forced into a position where you either have to scramble, try to figure out how to get something made to keep continuing, or waste your money and run with something that's already proven not to work. Um, and I, like when you're in the position where you're consistently creating content, then it's like we can figure that out a lot quicker. Cause like if we run with something and then within like four days, it's like, oh no, this shit isn't moving. It's like, all right, cool. We can just jump like, okay, he posted this video the other day. Let's try working this instead. You know what I'm saying? Or he posted this type of clip. Maybe we should try getting it placed in these places instead. So that's always the first thing, man, like content, it's like yeah. 60 70 percent of the game, you know what I'm saying? In my opinion, at least for today, you know what I'm saying? Because that's that's where if you're starting out without any type of machine behind you, which most artists are, then yeah. your quickest leverage point and your quickest audience point is going to come from the content you create. You know, that's going to be the initial touch point for a lot of people. So the quicker you can figure out what that looks like for you, because every artist, every artist consistent and content is different, right? Like the way that little little pump entertains his audience is not the same way that our Linux entertains their audience. You know what I'm saying? Like right, right. Their, their base is in completely different ways. Every artist can be entertaining to their base. I feel like every artist has something that like, you know what I'm saying? If you really put some thought into some stuff, you can think of something that's like, you know, stands out. Um, or if nothing else, I also believe in not necessarily trying to reinvent the wheel. Find something that you see that you like that you think you can redo in your own way because sometimes people don't people like familiarity from stuff but they like to see your take on it. You know, it's like I was equated to rappers and freestyle videos. Like, there's no rapper could ever do a freestyle video and claim it's 100 percent original because at this point, like everything's been done. It's nothing new at this point. Yeah, but, right, right, yeah, but, yeah. But there are interesting freestyle videos. Like there are videos, like there are artists who have done like really interesting ones that they go viral and you know, some of like people really pay attention to them because it's like yeah, it's something I'm, a, I'm I know about freestyle videos. But your take on it, the way you did it, you know, what I'm saying the way you put it, you put right. it uh, like visualize it. Like I really like it. Um, so yeah, man, like that, like literally, the the content is is the first starting point. Okay, all the things that we talk about or we teach. And even all the things that, you know, like when you're at that point where you want to hire someone, like all the things that like a good marketer is going to do is going to be centered around the content you create. So it's just okay. like getting that bag, you know. Okay, so I got to get in my content creation bag. I see. Yeah, yeah man. And like, like, that's different, man, for everyone, bro. Like we have one client where she can post a singing video and like her, her fan base to eat it up. You know what I'm saying? We got one. One client where like she's dope on TikTok and like her baby, her she's just active as fuck on TikTok and her base loves that. We have another client where like he kills with like cover songs. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's really active in that. So it's like different different people. And we actually have one client that actually came up with this really interesting idea. He's like a producer, so he started to do this thing where he, what is it? Where he'll cook these meals and then he'll sample 
the different ingredients. Ah, <laughs> cooking up, right. Yeah, bro, exactly. Like, that shit, bro. It's like, damn, we like, damn, bro, that's just genius as fuck. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm so, actually like, going to go look that up for real. Yeah. This is all right. His name is uh, Ben 10K. Ben 10K. All right. Ben so, 10K. Like, yeah. It's okay. like stuff like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, everyone's content bag is different. Or like, I look at, if we go bigger artists, Look at like what Doja Cat was doing, right? Doja Cat was being really consistent yeah. with like those singing videos on Instagram at one point. Like those point where she was yeah. putting one of those out like every other week for like a good like three, four months, you know what I'm saying? Um, or like our Linux, right? Like our Linux isn't well, initially our Linux used to be really active on YouTube with doing cover videos. But if we look at her today, like superstar our Linux, she goes on live a lot, you know what I'm saying? Like she goes on live like <laughs> eight, nine times. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like when she's really active like eight, nine times a week, like she be on there, she be killing I can. Shit. I can see Ari doing that a lot. It, it, it kind of gives, well, the perspective I have on that is it kind of gives her, her fans like this, uh, that's my friend kind of thing. It feels like you're just talking to your friend on FaceTime or something. I, I thought, exactly. I really like that idea. It's real cool. And and that goes back to, I think, the original point you brought up of sometimes artists kind of like overthinking it, where like when, when we say content or people like us say content, like you don't always have to think, grand content for this line. It's not always music videos. Right. It's not always lyric videos, you know what I'm saying? It's not always like these things that have to necessarily be put money into. Like a live is content. You know what I'm saying? Like a tweet is content. Um right. like there are those types of things you do need, like music videos, like those bigger content things are needed. But that's not all that constitutes content. And we're okay. trying to call me. Come on. So yeah, man. So, but yeah, all of it, everything, bro. Ground one, content is ground one. It's ground zero. Yeah, ground zero. It's the network. <laughs>